Salvation Army needs your help. Yeah, bell ringers are desperately needed at Red Kettle stations. Longtime bell ringer Eugene Bunker and Rebecca Lesperance from the Salvation Army join us live from De Pere uh, with more. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Eugene, Eugene, you've been doing this for some time. Why do you do this? Uh, what do you get out of it? Well, I do it, number one, because it's very important for the Salvation Army. They do great service for our community. And uh, when you're retired, you like to feel that you're giving something back to the community. And that's why I and our club uh, does it uh, during the uh, every season. Eugene, how much time do you actually spend ringing bells during the season? Well, I try to do a minimum of one shift a week, which is a two-hour shift. And I usually work a 6 uh, p.m. to 8 p.m. shift. I've worked two Monday nights so far this year. And uh, I know I'll be on next Monday also. Eugene, have you been doing it for a while? How many years have you been doing it? I believe this is my 16th or 17th year. I've forgotten exactly. <laughs> That's a lot of years, a lot of hours spent ringing those <laughs> bells. Now, Rebecca, I imagine yes, you wish you had 100 Eugenes out there to help yeah. ring the bells. We do. Eugene and his group are fantastic. They are here every year, and we can always count on them to be here manning the kettles and bringing in the campaign dollars. And how, what is the need for volunteers right now? Right now, we have probably about 30 to 35 percent of our kettle spots filled. We have 10,000 kettle spots, or 10,000 kettle hours to be filled, and we're only three weeks into the season, so there's still lots of spots and lots of opportunities to come out and ring bells. It's a great way to spend time with your family, teach your family, and teach the children about philanthropy and needs in our community, and it's just really a feel-good experience for everyone who gets out and does it. Hey Eugene, one question, if if you can hear me, um, you were talking about your sure. group. Did, did you talk? Did you say the name of your group? What's the name of your group that uh, is involved with this? Oh, we are in the uh, De Pere area men's group. We okay. meet every Tuesday morning. Yeah. And one thing that the you community could... center in De Pere. Okay. Eugene, what can you say to people who are watching who have never done this bell ringing before? Well, I would encourage them, if they have a couple of extra hours, really, to call the Salvation Army. It's, it's, it's just good. You meet a lot of people that you know. Uh, you're all, I am always surprised at the uh, generosity of the people, especially the younger people uh, the last few years. Uh, you just get a good feeling from it. Well, Eugene, thank you very much. And Rebecca, thank you. And um, You're welcome. hopefully we'll get a lot of folks signed up today. Have a great yep. day. Let's hope so. Thank you. You too. Okay. See ya. Thanks. <laughs>